Okay. Now in our previous tutorial, we have shown you how to order and receive material from a, for a purchase order. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to check inventory balance uh, using the inventory application in Maximo. So if we go here to the inventory module and open the inventory application, and if we uh, press enter here, it will show me a list of everything we have in stock and uh, we can uh, search for our item in this case it is a uh, DPI maybe 107 which is a tire that uh, we need for our maintenance work remember earlier we have a maintenance work that uh, we have reserved for tire to be replaced for our major service shop so in this case, if we open this item, we can see that we currently have 20 items in our storeroom. And uh, if we go down below here, it will tell me that uh, the item can be located in this uh, shelf and bin location. And let's say if I have a different uh, location uh, storing the item in the same storeroom, it will have uh, like different rows in here and this is the balance of the item in each uh, bin and this will be the total balance of this item in the storeroom and if we look here we have this is the quantity currently currently reserved for a work order so basically any material enter into a work plan and uh, the work order has been approved it will increase this number and because of that, then the available number is uh, 16. So it will be 20 less for, in this case, it will be 16. Right? So uh, this is uh, the quantity of the uh, item in our inventory. So now uh, let's pretend that I am an uh, inventory uh, manager or store manager and uh, the uh, maintenance the mechanic uh, person come in and ask me to issue this uh, for reserve item for his work order what I can do is I can open the uh, inventory uses uh, application here to issue uh, for his work so in this case I'm gonna create a new record I'm gonna call it issue tire work okay and now I can leave it use a tie as mix here so I can do both issue return and transfer or I can change it to issue only so in this case I don't I will not be able to uh, do a transfer but I can only do issue and return now in this case I can choose select reserve item and I can choose by entering a work order number here so in this case I know that the work order number is uh, hmm. I don't know why it doesn't display here but uh, let me have a look again but that's okay I remember the item so I For some reason it doesn't display here but that's fine what we can do is we can just enter our item that we need to issue in this case we know that it is uh, this number it is a wheel and we are gonna issue four of this item and I'm gonna issue it against a work order so I'm gonna enter it here made a mistake by pressing enter so I should delete it I'm gonna have this number here all right so I'm gonna save it and now what I can do is to confirm the chances and it chain this record starter to complete okay so now uh, we have uh, completed our transaction 
so uh, as a store manager I uh, will do this in this application and if we open this work order and go to the actual tab and we can see that the uh, item has been recorded here uh, that it is consumed for this work order and this will result in an increased uh, maintenance cost for this work order as well so basically uh, this is how we do a issue transaction and let's say after uh, the mechanic had uh, gone out and done his work and he come back with for our wheel then uh, I can do a return transaction so what I can do is I can create a new uh, record again and return all wheel right so I can do it here and I can choose issues okay so I'm gonna create a new row and I'm gonna enter the same item number so uh, to accurately monitor the cost of old and uh, new wheels, we can have different item numbers or we can set up condition for the items in our item master application. So in this case, we can define new condition code here with like maybe A is 100% new and B can be like a old tire with 20% value only. But because in this case, uh, uh, we are only doing very basic introduction of the application. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. In this case, I'm going to use the same item. And instead of using an issues type transaction here, I'm going to change it to return. And uh, I'm going to set the work order number, which is 14, here and now if i'm gonna save it and change the status to so in this case it's on similar details and i'm gonna keep okay and uh um yep so i have a enter now i'm gonna change status to complete right so in this case i have done a return transaction and if we go to the work order again we can see that both transaction has been recorded in the work order and if we go back to our storeroom if we go to inventory here yep so we can see that our current balance is now 20. Okay, so that's how we uh, do the issue and return in Maximo. And I'm going to quickly show you how to transfer an item between storeroom as well. So what we can do to transfer an item is click on a new row here and to create a new inventory user record and transfer tire from central to let's say hardware. Okay, and um, I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna add a new line and I'm gonna select so in this case I leave from storeroom E central here which means the item will be coming from uh, central storeroom so I'm gonna set it here and I'm gonna transfer 10 of these item to a uh, new storeroom uh, actually in this case I need to change the usage type to a transfer first right so now instead of uh, having to enter a work order number then I'm going to enter a two storeroom information which is a destination storeroom so I'm gonna add a hardware here and I can enter a B number as well let's say it's a, a B10 okay and now I'm gonna save it 
So now uh, with this uh, new maximal version, then uh, with older version, what we can do is we can change com status to complete and the transaction will be finalized, which means it will reduce the quantity from the uh, original storeroom and then increase the quantity in the target storeroom. But now let's say if this uh, transfer is a, a long distance transfer and it uh, needs to be um, transfer using a truck or a uh, ship. For example, if uh, in oil and gas industry where we send out item from uh, a uh, offshore a storeroom warehouse to a uh, uh, to a, uh, from an onshore warehouse to an offshore oil rig, for example, then uh, it will take a few days before the item arrive. So in this case, what we can do is we can using different status of the uh, of the record to check that. So let's say, first of all, uh, if we pack this whole thing into a container and uh, put it into a staging area waiting to be picked up by the truck or the ship, then we can change the status to stage. And I'm gonna use a uh, default uh, stage bin in this case. All right. So now if we go into the inventory application as a uh, inventory manager, I can look into this uh, application and I can tell that currently I only have 10 of these items left in our storeroom. However, I have 10 of these in the estate uh, area. So uh, uh, we know exactly where it is because like the target storeroom still haven't received this item yet so we have 10 items missing so in this case we know exactly where it is okay so now let's say if the service ship or a uh, truck come in and pick up the uh, container and now uh, uh, they started to uh, go to the target uh, storeroom then we can change status of this uh, record to ship And now we can enter the details of the uh, shipment like carrier, maybe uh, we're using maybe UPS for example. And we can enter the, some uh, reference number as well. In this case, I'm going to click OK. Now like uh, after a day or two, then uh, the uh, courier have delivered the uh, goods to the target storeroom. So what we can do in Maximo is using the shipment receiving application to receive that um, package or that container to our storeroom. So in this case, let's uh, do it by clicking on this and choose select ship items. And now we can select the item that we need to transfer to our destination storeroom. And uh, this is very similar to the receiving application. So if like there are some item missing during the uh, transfer process, then we can check that as well. But in this case, I'm gonna make it very simple by uh, receiving all 10 items. And now I can click on save. So now after this point, then if we look at this storeroom, we can see that now in our target storeroom we have 10 of these items and in our original storeroom we have only 10 left so that's how the whole shipment uh, process and transfer process works in maximum